Hello traders, it's your one and only Forest Q coach Tim Legend and I'm super excited having you all here today on this video. Now I've been getting quite a lot of requests to make a video around how to use the MT5 especially for iPhone users and also for Android users because the, the app is quite different on both sides. So in this video today, I'll be teaching you how to navigate through the MT5 app using your iPhone. Before we proceed, if this is your first time on my channel, could you do me a favor? Smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you be the very first person to get notified the moment that I release a new video. Make sure you also join me on Telegram where I post free analysis, signals and updates on how you can keep winning in the financial markets. Link to my Telegram channel is on the description below. Let's get started. So right here, once you open your MT5, the first thing you might likely see is this. All right, now you'd notice we have quotes, chat, trade, history, and settings. Now under the quotes, you here you find all the uh, pairs you might likely want to trade. For those trade uh, uh, the boom and crash and volatilities, you're going to see the list of all of them here. You might likely not see the list of all. So probably if you want to add any new pair, be it currency pair or if it's boom and crash, all you want to do is to click on enter symbol for search. Now, once you click on it, all these things are going to pop out. Now you can either go manually by clicking on whatever you're looking for. So I'll click on Forex minor and you see the pairs under Forex minor. If I click on Forex major, you see the pairs on the Forex major. These are the major pairs in the currency pair markets. Now, if I don't want to stress myself searching for it, I can just decide to click on search and search for whatever I'm looking for. So let's say I want to trade gold and I'm looking for gold. I will just search. And right here, you would see RZ USD for gold. If I want to search for NZ, NZD JPY, NZD JPY. So what I want to do is to click on the plus icon. And once I click it, it is going to disappear out of here. Automatically, it's gone to your quote session. And here you have it below here. So whatever pair that you're looking for, just click on search search for the name of the pair or the currency or the uh instruments if it's boom if it's crash or volatility index if it's nasdaq depending on your broker and what you're using to trade okay now that's for the quote session probably if you want to arrange your pairs maybe you want the nzd jpy to be on top you want to click on the pencil icon here and then click on the three hamburger on this side and drag to wherever you want it to be and once you're done you click back now let's look at the charts under the chart here is where you see your candlesticks and all the rest okay so you can slide left you can slide right to look at the past and to look at the future using the iphone you can actually uh slant it up or down like this but the android would not be able to do this all right now under your this chart section you have the crosshair which is this so you can actually use it to measure whatever you want to measure all right you have the f icon which is for indicators so under indicators you'll be able to see where you can add indicators so i'll click on menu window and here you can see all, all the indicators on MT5. So whichever one you click on, you have the settings to create how, as you want to set it up. Once you're done setting up your settings, you want, all right, depending on what you're looking, what you want, all right, you click on done and you see your indicator on the main charts, as you can see. Now, you also have the icon here, which is the two icon under the two icon you have all your necessary tools that you want to use to run your analysis and every single thing on your chart if you click on add object then it simply means you want to search for more other tools 
such as here we have the vertical line horizontal line trend line you have the circle line you have the arrow line all right you have fibonacci you have quite a lot of them rectangle triangle elliott wave and so on depending on what you want to use to analyze your market whichever one you want to delete you can always click on this delete icon on the top right If I click on delete all, then every single thing that I have here on different charts for the boom market that I have analyzed, for my currency pairs that I have analyzed, all of them are going to clean off. So I don't want to delete any of those. Now let's go back to the charts. Here you have, if you want to place a buy limit or a sell limit, you click on this icon here. And here you have this thing that comes out as your buy limit or sell limits so if i want a buy limit i can put it up down here below price if i want to sell limit i put it above price so what i'm going to do is to click on continue and it takes me here where i have to set up probably my uh lot size maybe i want to use a 0 0.5 lot size and then i want to set my stop loss to wherever i want to set it to And if you want to set your take profit you can also do the same thing and once you click on place it's going to place automatically as a sell limit but if i click on it right now it's not going to work because today is saturday and currency pairs don't function on saturdays as you can see market closed let's go back to the charts that is for buy limit and sell limits what if you want to execute an instant trade then you want to click on this icon here and this is going to come out like this so you can easily buy or sell you can change your lot size here and buy or sell whatever you want to buy or sell now when you place a buy or you place a sell you can always set your stop loss right after it if you click touch your screen like this this is going to pop out here you have trade indicators objects settings cancel under the settings you can see we have the bar chart candlestick line charts depending on what you want to see on your screen so if i click on bar charts and go back you're going to see everything on in bar form no more candles let's go back there if i click on line charts you're going to see everything in line form for you to remove the indicator on your screen in case if you don't like it there you want to click on the f icon on the top and just slide it left you see delete if, if you slide it continuously you can easily delete it or if you just want to bring it out a little like this and you click delete now my chart is clean again so let's turn this back to candlesticks And now it's going to be back to candlesticks. Now under here you have volume. My volume is turned off. You have tick volumes, but mine is turned off. I don't need it on my chart. This is whatever you want to show on your chart that you can always turn on or turn off. All right. Then one other question that I always get is Tim, how do I change the color of my chart? So if I click on colors, you see here we have foreground grid bar or bar down candlestick and all the rest so here you want to change the color of whatever you want to change if i click on here then this means i want a black background if i click on green on black it means i want a color a black background if we go back you notice my background has changed if i want to change the color of the candles i'll go back to settings go to color and then now let's say i want to make my bullish candle green so i will click on bar up green it's already green um uh, i'll click on bullish candle green i'll click save then i'll make my bearish candle red click save and bar down red and click save now what else do we want to do if we go to the chart we we'll notice we've done that but 
our child is not yet clean all these lines all this box box here we don't want it so i will go back to settings go to color and i will for me to remove those lines i will click on grid you see the colorful grid you change it to black so that you don't see it on your chart at all now if we go to our chart we see our chart is cleaner is that not nice okay now you notice that all the uh, tools that I uh, use to analyze my markets, like the trend line, is kind of black, and I can't see it on my chart. If I want to color change the color of the trend line, I'll just click on it like this, click on property, then I'll turn it to white, and now I will see my trend line here, as you can see. All right, so that's for that. Now let's head over to trade. Now on the trade, this is where you would see your how much you have on your account on your equity. And if you have a running trade, you can always see your running trades here. So I just created this new account and deposited a few amount on it in order to do this video for you guys. Now the next thing you want to click on is history. If you click on history, you will see your history. The amount you've uh, you've deposited how much you removed from it your losses or your profits you see them all here then on the settings this is where you want to log in your uh broker account when you have your id and you also have your uh password then you want to log in from this zone and that's that for how to use mt5 on the iphone do you have any further question about it don't hesitate to comment on the comment section and i'll be very happy to respond to it if it were around me making another video concerning it then no problem i'm all here for you guys for the meantime stay safe and keep winning